Check it out, behind me we have a giant 50 foot dirt ramp and a 60 mile an hour Traxxas X-Max. We're gonna try and build a parachute deployment system. I don't know if it's gonna happen. Oh. We're gonna find out right now. Go! Oh. So how is this supposed to work? All right, so what I'm gonna do is I actually have this canister and we have three parachutes that I'm gonna stuff inside of it that we're gonna have rigged up on the back of the truck right here. We're gonna have an altimeter on it so that we can tell exactly how many feet in the air we're able to go off with this giant jump over here. And then hopefully I have this trigger mechanism that I built, come check this out. It's three pins all daisy chained together that I'm gonna tie to each umbrella so that when it launches, this little rock's gonna fall off the back, pull the the pins, deploy the parachutes out in the back and hopefully bring it safely to the ground. That's so awesome. Or it's gonna come down like a big giant flaming turk. <laughs> Either way, it's gonna be awesome. I am. <laughs> we only get one try at this. Here is the deployment parachute strategy. I actually have a little bouncy ball in there, a foam brightly colored practice golf ball that I put in there that I'm gonna twist in the end of the parachute. And then I have these little quick release cords that I came up with that we're gonna just loop over the ball like this and cinch it in there. And these things, when you let go, they just wanna fly apart and open up so the chute will open. But this allows me to stuff everything down inside the container here like this. I can stuff the parachutes in here and then we'll have it rigged in here. And then these strings are gonna come back and get hooked up to our pin release mechanism. Each string has a pin and then this is getting tied to a rock that will drop out of the back when it's airborne. Pull the pins and pulls these out, releases the parachute and deploys it off the back of the truck for the landing. That's the hope. I think it's gonna work. I'm excited to find out, let's do it. This is tough because it's like a bumpy takeoff going down here. I don't want to dig anything up, but if I can keep the rock from flying out and it all coming apart, I kind of want to get a good running start. We only have one jump, right? You gotta make it count, Carl. I think this looks like a really good, nice, crazy starting spot. Yeah. I think you have a good line going there, Carl. Yeah, come over here. We just need to get this. Shoulder. We're gonna try and go down here, bounce it through the little dig, make a slight left hand turn. We're gonna aim right between that tiny little gap between those orange cones way up there and hopefully send it. What do you guys think is gonna happen today? I think it's going to work, but the parachutes won't have enough time to open. Honestly, I think it's gonna go super high, like maybe like 30 feet in the air. Okay, that's yeah. high, yeah. I think that Dad's really thought this through and he had this jump specific in mind. So I absolutely think this is gonna work and the parachute's gonna have enough time to deploy and stuff. Even if it works or if it doesn't, I think it's gonna look awesome anyways. <laughs> I think so too. We're about ready. We just have to stuff this all up, get the batteries in, get the GoPros turned on, fly the drone up, and then launch it. Let's do it. Getting ready to stuff all this together. There's a couple of things that could happen, I think, that I'm predicting. The rock might fall out of the back and trigger the chutes to deploy on takeoff. Like while we're going up the ramp, it could fall out. If that times out right, it might not be a bad thing to have them coming out on the takeoff a little bit, but also the inertia and the momentum of the rock and everything going up together, the rock might not fall out and might not pop the pins, might not deploy the chutes, and we might just see the whole thing go up and down in a big heap. I don't know, <laughs> we'll see. It'll be funny to find out though. Okay, there's no turning back now. Let's do this. It's time to put the shell on. Got everything on here so far. We have to hook the final parachute on here. I have to be able to lift this up and close the lid down. And then we can put this on our parachute tube. And then we're gonna tie all three of these off here in a second, but we gotta get our last final parachute on because these are attached to the shell. And this one is our backup one attached to the wheelie bar right here that's gonna be coming up, stuffed in very last. So this one will come out first and pull everything else out, hopefully. I think I want to go just like this. I've got a piece of foam kind of wedged in here to keep some tension on it all. So far, looks pretty clean. I think it's gonna work. It might work. I think it's gonna work. <laughs> the final piece is going in. The airplane better watch out. I don't hit him on takeoff up there. He might get confused with the parachutes. Might think it's a UFO flying over or something. <laughs> 
some astronaut coming back in for re-entry, right? <laughs> okay, so I've got this rock wedged in here. See this? Oh, yeah. Like that with all the string. And there's the pins laying right here. And then we're going to just set all this in here and hope it doesn't cluster up, messed up. Like this. That's awesome. Foam. And this rock will eject exactly as it's supposed to. At the right time. Perfect time. And it's all gonna work. It's all gonna work. Here we go, we're ready. Let's do it. We're all set up ready to go. The chute is already in there. The rock's in there, the foam. All the cameras are rolling. We've even got our sky cam in the air. Hopefully I don't run into it. This is gonna be awesome. Let's do this. Here we go, I'm gonna do like a nice easy approach and then I'm gonna gun it on the takeoff. Let's get a countdown guys, ready? Three, two, one, go. Come on, go, go, go. deployed but I missed the takeoff over to the right. That's we gotta crazy. go see if the car survived. I wonder if it landed, if it survived, if we could try again or if it's totally ruined. Let's go see. So I found our little stuffing foam and look at this. The blue oh. cords right here. Okay, that I feel like that totally worked. Look at how far down the hill from the jump. So the rock fell out like halfway up the hill here, which isn't too bad. And you guys say the chute's actually deployed? I did. Yeah. It landed perfectly. You can come over here and see it. It landed? Yeah. Oh my gosh, it landed. It totally landed. Oh, that's crazy. We should go see how it looks. Look what I found. I found too. You found one of the other ones? Yeah. Okay, we have one more to find. That's so funny. We found the balls. It, it looks like it, it totally, it totally works. Off the landing. I think I just should have hit the ramp actually and not been so afraid. Should we try and set up and do one more? Yeah. Let's do it. Looks like we had two successful deployments and one that didn't still have the pin on it and everything. So this was supposed to have opened up. So I need to make sure and leave them a little bit more loose when I stuff them inside the canister and not cinch them down. The point is so tight. But the other ones totally let go. And we were able to run around and find all the components, pick up all the debris. And let's go for jump number two. You know what I just realized? What? In all the excitement, I forgot to even turn on the altimeter to see how far oh, it went. No! Oh, no! So we'll have to set it this time and try again. I made a few different preparations this time, a couple of modifications. I stuffed it in a little tighter in there and I'm gonna get a little bit more gusto and hit the gas a little harder, try to hit the takeoff better this time. You guys smash that like button, wish me luck. Hopefully we can set it. Oh yeah, we gotta turn on the altimeter. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot again. That would have been so funny to forget both times. Oh my gosh, not funny. I <laughs> spent money on these things. I really wanna use them. There we go. Ready? It says launch. Ready? Let's do it. We'll see. It survived the first jump. I forgot about it entirely. Okay, here we go. I'm going to try and get a better line up here and just go straight on. All right, here we go. You guys ready? Okay, I'm just going to go for it. Ready, set, go. I didn't see any parachutes at all. What do you think? I think we have a pancake over there. Let's go check it out. All right. I even went right between the cones. You hit on. it dead on. Full throttle. I don't know. I saw the blue string come out the back, but it was too late. I must have stuffed it in too hard on the second go. Shoot. Oh, it looks like a yard sale down there. Oh man, that looks really bad. Yeah. It like crash and totally flipped. Didn't go as planned at all. We might be done for the day. Look, the parachute up in the tire. Oh, no. oh no! The tire came out, but then one of it got wrapped up and it just it demolished itself, I think. Look at this. The shell. Oh, it's completely man. wrecked and all scratched up and everything. Oh, the GoPro, oh, so, even. Let's see, wait, this says ready. What does it say? The altimeter says zero flights. Oh, gosh, what? It. it didn't even register a flight, yeah. it just turned it right into the ground. <laughs> More like a torpedo than a launch, right? <laughs> Looks like it's in really bad condition. I think it just got all tangled up. We might need to rethink the design. Let us know if you have any ideas of how we can prove this down in the comments below. Also, we've done some other awesome, really cool RC car ones with cool saw blade tires. 
different awesome things and even try to drive it across the water. If you like this video, check out the other ones that you see on screen and we'll see you in the next one. Bye! Bye. That was so cool. Does it even work? Let's see. Oh, it's alive at least. Yay!